Here is exactly why you're struggling on your fitness journey and you're not seeing any results. And number one, we've got to tackle nutrition. This is the most common mistake I find a lot of people make. It's just simply having absolutely horrible eating patterns. Eating way too much, having way too low protein, not drinking enough water, snacking way too much, drinking too much alcohol. These are the things that are just really, really holding you back. And until you get a grip on it, nothing's gonna change. You know, in order to change, you have to make a change. And the biggest and most important thing, honestly, the easiest change you can make is just downloading MyFitnessPal, which is the app that I've used for over 10 years. All of our amazing clients who are absolutely crushing it use it as well. We're not affiliated with it. You can use whatever tracking app you want to, but truthfully, just having the accountability, knowing when you eat something, you have to put it in the app, you have to log it. It makes such a big difference. And we actually go one step further for all of our amazing clients. We have to transfer that data over to our spreadsheet, as you can see on the screen. And this is gonna show you data between just the overall metrics in terms of averages, in terms of just seeing the boxes being checked off. And like, once again, having accountability, especially when you do struggle with eating, when you're social, when you're someone that does have just a lot of issues within that, it makes such a big difference. Not overeating, not over snacking can change the game for so many people. I promise you, you make this change, it'll make such a big difference on your journey. Next up is always looking for that next secret. Truthfully, this is just gonna leave you wasting so much time, so much energy, and a lot of money overall. I see so many times people are looking for that next thing when they don't realize there's actually no secret, but because they're always looking for that next thing, they don't focus on what matters, such as tracking nutrition, uh, such as overall strength training, focusing on the more important things, right? So I really encourage you to stop looking for that next secret because it's just never gonna show up. You're just gonna be spinning your wheels over and over and over again, and unfortunately never seen any results at all. Another thing potentially holding you back is just not being consistent enough. So inconsistency comes in so many different ways, shapes, and forms. I find a very common one is one week on, one week off. You're only doing the stuff when it's the most convenient uh, because work is hectic, you've got kids, you know, just you're traveling. And so it leads to just like being there kind of 50% of the time, right? You know, in a given month, you get two weeks of good work in, two weeks of just inconsistency. Another thing is being a weekend warrior. So for example, from Friday to Sunday, that's over 30% of your week. And a lot of times it's easy to go off the deep end, especially when it comes to travels, when it comes to fun summer weekends. So from Friday to Sunday, your eating is absolutely atrocious. You're not training, you're not moving much. And that's why you're not seeing results. It's because you're consistent from Monday to Thursday, you're meal prepping, you're doing all this great stuff. And then once a weekend comes Friday onwards, everything just gets thrown down the drain. And another thing is also in terms of busy periods of your life, it's very easy for, I see so many people doing stuff like one month on, one month off, because it's busy season, so I can't do anything at all. The best results come from doing something, at least something consistently over a, a prolonged amount of time. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be perfect. Even if it's a busy season and you scale it down from, let's say you're aiming for 100% and you're able to give 60 to 70, that is so much better than going right down to zero and saying, well, I can't train, I can't move, I can't do any of this stuff, you know, and because I can't do that, I can't focus on my nutrition. And then it just becomes this really horrible spiral of just not seeing results. So aim to be as consistent as possible. I know it sounds cliche, I know it sounds obvious, but a lot of people are missing out on this simple factor. And before I jump into the next one, fun fact, I have been online coaching for close to 10 years now, over 4,000 transformations with myself and my team. Obviously, there's lots of obstacles. There's different things we need to navigate, as you can tell from this episode. However, our goal is to create a game plan and approach to help you no matter what you're struggling with, no matter what's happening, and create a custom approach for you that's going to set you up for success. So I'm willing to give you a money back guarantee. That's how confident I am to be able to help you succeed, to lose body fat, to build muscle. Just fill out down below, first link, no strings attached, check out the website, see what we're all about. And I can promise you, you fill out that application, you take the leap, I, you will be absolutely blown away at the results you get. And once again, I promise you that you get results or your money back. That's how confident I am. So fill that link out down below. And number four, your circle is holding you back. It is so easy to get a bit of momentum going and then a friend of yours, a family member, someone that's kind of close, maybe even work colleagues, they either doubt you, they criticize you, they encourage you to do things that maybe aren't in line with your fitness goals. You really need to find a way to build up an incredible circle 
of people who are on the same journey as you. They don't have to be fully in line with, with everything you're doing, but even if they're somewhat on the same page, they will hold you accountable. They will support you. If they see you slipping out, they're gonna be the first one to say, hey, I noticed you're slacking off, like let's get back to it. And that's one thing that I find has been very helpful for myself over the years is just really building a great network of people who are willing to go out and do that extra thing, you know, that sporting event, you know, just a nice healthy meal. And it's not always gonna be like this, I just wanna mention that, but it is so easy to just stop seeing results because of the people around you, the ones that are dragging you down. And it makes such a big difference on your journey if you're the only one focused on trying to get results and being healthy. And that's why even when you join our community, you're not just with one coach, but you're also with a community of coaches as well as a ton of amazing people are on the exact same journey who are gonna give you recipes, who are gonna bring you up, who are gonna encourage you, and that makes such a big difference to help you start to finally see results and continue to see results. Last but not least, this is a tough one for some people to hear, but it's possible you don't want it bad enough and you just don't actually care about getting results. I know a lot of times people have this amazing goal, they you know say they want to accomplish something, maybe they've received a you know, uh, negative feedback from a family member or maybe they see someone else doing something, they're like, you know what, I wanna lose weight, I wanna get into it, and my goal is to get in shape for summer. You have to really ask yourself, how bad do I want it? And not to sound cliche with that question, but I see so many times people say they wanna do something, but 0% of their actions are in line with what they say they wanna do. And if that's the case, you just really don't want it bad enough. You like the idea and you like the thought of achieving this goal. So by thinking about it, by saying you're gonna do it, you feel like you're kind of almost there and it's good enough for you. You know, telling people, hey, I'm on this fitness journey or, you know, saying that you have a goal, like it feels really good, but you just don't put in that work. So I see so many people like this. They say, hey, I'm gonna get in shape. And then once again, none of the actions are in line with that. And it's not that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that at all. It just really means that you like the thought of it and that you're probably not gonna put action to get towards that goal. So you really have to be serious. I find the biggest issue is some people are one foot in, one foot out, which is just never gonna lead to results. Like if you really wanna see change, you have to dedicate, you have to create an overall fitness lifestyle and just create a new identity because that's what's gonna get the best results possible. You don't have to always be eating broccoli, chicken and rice. You don't have to be spending three hours in the gym, but you really do have to show up. You have to be consistent. You have to have a deep why that's gonna push you to stay on track during those tougher times. That's gonna help you show up on those tougher days. And uh, that's gonna be one of the most important things. That's why I wanted to leave one of the best for last on this amazing video. So hopefully that helps show up for yourself get accountability, set those big goals that's gonna help you get to that next level, create that circle, focus on consistency, change those eating patterns. I promise you, you will be a completely different person. One year from now, you focus on these five important factors that could be holding you back and you will be absolutely amazed at what you can accomplish and feel free to fill out that first link down below. I'm more than happy to help. I guarantee your results and thank you for spending time with me today.